A recent study shows that parents are confident in their ability to monitor their children's online activity. However, as their children get older, the parents' confidence in their ability to do so decreases. For the next few minutes, we'll discuss an initiative to promote good digital parenting. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Joining me is Stephen Balkum. He's the founder and CEO of the Family Online Safety Institute. Stephen, welcome to the program. It's always good to see you. Likewise. And we're always talking about making sure that our children um, are educated and, and nurtured in a way that children should be, but also monitoring their, their online activity. As you know, I, I mentioned a few moments ago that parents feel pretty good uh, when their children probably are waddling around. Uh, but when that child maybe gets the car keys, um, their online uh, ability to monitor the online activity goes down. Why is that the case? Well, I would actually say it's before the car keys. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's more middle school uh -huh. uh, is when the divide starts, typically when they get uh, cell phones sure. uh, and increasingly smartphones. And smartphones come with apps, and apps have a lot of social media and a lot of connection with the outside world. Uh, not, not just connection with other people, but then putting things out onto sure. social media. So that's, that's when the confidence levels dip. Is it also because with uh, a mobile device, uh, the parent is not always around, so the child is taking that to school, uh, perhaps to a soccer game, and quite frankly, a parent just simply cannot be there 24 hours, seven days a week? Yeah, I mean, when I first started working in this uh, field, we would say, put the computer in the living room, right. you know, and keep an eye on what the kids are doing. Well. That advice, unfortunately, is no longer uh, applicable. Because a friendly reminder is, is that the smartphone is a, is, is a small computer in many ways. And, and more powerful than the computers were 10, 15 years of ago. Of course. When of we course. used to say, keep that in the living room. Of course. So yeah, it's, it's a challenge. It's a big challenge. So Stephen, a, a parent may say, well, I'm trying to do everything that I possibly can. I think that I'm on top of my, my children's online uh, presence. Help me here. What, what tools can you give me? So we've created something called the Seven Steps to Good Digital Parenting, and it's on our website at fozy.org. And the idea behind it is to give parents some simple but still challenging steps in which they can get a handle on this issue and keep an ongoing dialogue with their children. And walk us through uh, maybe some of the steps that, that children do to perhaps maybe uh, uh, hide their digital footprint from their parents, if any? Well, listen, kids uh, value their privacy, particularly teenagers, and they will do a lot uh, to keep their parents and teachers and various others from prying into what they're doing. So what we say to parents is not, step number one is to talk with your kids early and often. This is not the birds and the bees talk, which is once and done. Sure. This is something that you will progressively have to do over the years and could even start as early as three, four, five years old. Really? That, three, as early as three years old? Well, there's tablets for two-year-olds now. Oh, interesting. You're right. You know, and uh, YouTube Kids just was launched yesterday. You know, so the, the range with the earlier and earlier age is that the kids are getting online is causing parents to have to talk to their kids about these issues at an earlier age. Age. Is there an extreme here where some parents will say, you know what, I can't deal with this, and so therefore a, 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 a smart device is not in my child's future anytime soon, and the only thing that we're going to have is the old school computer in our living room. Is that realistic for well, a parent to think that way? Sure. I mean, there are parents who are pulling plugs out of their walls and saying, no, you're not having this. Again, we don't think that's very realistic given the fact that they can just go to a friend's house or just meet a friend at a playground and they will have cell phones with them. So, number one, talk with your kids. Number two, educate yourself about this new digital world and go online with your kids so that you explore together with them where they're going. Stephen Balkum, thank you very much for joining us. You know, all of these uh, digital techniques, if you will, uh, they're always evolving and we appreciate you coming on board and, and trying to walk us through these things. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. And of course, thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Tradum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.